So I think I need some help trying to figure this one out. I was on a train today, and um, I picked up one of the local, uh, I saw this in one of the local little papers that they give away, the freebies, you know, the freebies on a train. In New York, they have this these two papers, the Metro and AM something or other, that they give away free papers. And in the paper, I'm thumbing through the paper. I was like, oh, fucking, you know, checking out the, uh, checking out the local news. And uh, I see this. Uh, this is, this is he's sick, man. This is, you're going to love this. It's crazy, right? Protests planned if Trump removes Mueller. <laughs> really? <laughs> Who's going to protest? I mean, why would you? What jackass, what stupid idiot would go out and protest Mueller? Maybe it's the, the crazy left. They're going to put the pussy hats on. They're going to go out and, and protest removing the most one of the most corrupt investigations in the history of America, a witch hunt where Mueller's, you know, based on a fake Russia story is, tra- you know, they're, they're arresting, you know, or confiscating Trump's attorney's property. and So who is it? Let's see. U.S. progressive groups, the progressives, uh-oh, progressive groups are gearing up for a nationwide protest. If Donald Trump fires special counsel investigator investigating Russian meddling in 2016 election. Uh, jam the brakes on. <laughs> so they're they're going to protest because of 2016 U.S. election Russian meddling. All right. So, it, again, a fake story, right? But who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? You got to love it. <laughs> right? So it's, um, I'll give it away. It's Mule. It's uh, moveon.org. Um I went to this site. I mean, I can't believe that w- what what the hell has happened to our democracy? What has happened to the to the resistance? Is, you know, moveon.org was was in the, you know, in the trenches during uh you know, Occupy Wall Street and um the the rise of you know, the the opposition Bernie Sanders movement and and have been behind so many valid fights, you know, climate change and all the shit. What the hell are they doing now? What the hell is going on, man? Why? I mean, anybody with their head, you know, at least halfway out their own ass would know that the the investigation into Trump, uh, you know, Russian meddling is just a fake story. Now, we know what happened, right? It was so. So you go to this site. And what does it say? Nobody is above the law. Mueller firing, firing rapid response. Donald Trump could be prepared to put himself above the law. We won't allow it. Trump will create a constitutional crisis if he is fi- if he fires special counsel Robert Mueller or Deputy Attorney General Rob- Rod Rosenstein, who oversees Mueller, or attempts to compromise the investigation by other means. Our response in the hours following a potential power grab will dictate what happens next. Whether Congress will stand up to Trump or allow him to move our democracy towards authoritarianism. What the hell is happening? Whew, I need a drink after that. This is disturbing. Right? It's disturbing. I mean, it's funny and disturbing. They're saying that, that Trump, who is the president, the democratically elected president of the United States, is prepared to fire, by him being prepared to fire Robert Mueller, a special counsel selected by a deeply corrupted Democratic Congress and Hillary Clinton supporters and, you know, Confederates within the FBI, right? By firing this guy, right? His The goal was... The, the the idea was to set up a special counsel to see if there was, in fact, if Russia meddled, you know, Russia interfered in our election in 2016. There's been no evidence to prove it, so you get rid of them, right? It's it's common sense, right? There's no evidence. I know, I know, I know, evidence, evidence. You want evidence, evidence? We don't, we don't work with evidence anymore. We work with uh, what's politically correct, right? All right. There's no more evidence. This is this is dangerous because we, we no longer we no longer have a voice of, of reason, you know, a voice uh, uh, on the left or on the right or a voice of, of of sanity, right? That that moveon.org is willing to throw all its cards at a fake story, right? 
Mueller's in New York right now, you know, talking the FBI into confiscating his Trump's attorney's property to find out information on a hooker that he had possibly had consensual sex with 10 years ago. This is this is this is this is who you're this is who you're defending. Right. Look at the word witch hunt. It, it's it's precisely what it is in our in our country. Right. That's the constitutional crisis that the Democrats have. The Democrats and the, and the the lunatic left have gone off the off the, the the rafters with this insane kind of um, accusations. Look, the constitutional crisis occurred in 2016 not because Trump won or Trump had the Russians help him. The Russians, the Bernie Sanders people, helped him. Right. That was the dividing. That was the thing. Right. That was the whole thing that Hillary Clinton said, fuck you. The Democrats said, fuck you to the to the to the uh, what were then called the progressive side of the party. And they decided that they were going to cheat and they were going to throw the election to Hillary Clinton. And they didn't care through hella high water what the dem- what the 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 young progressive, you know, millennials said. And they just, you know, the greatest example is at the Democratic National Convention when the Bernie delegates went there and when they left their seats to go get something to eat or take a piss, they, 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 the, the Democratic National Committee was putting actors in their seats, creating the illusion for the television audience that everything is fine. See, we're united. See, united, you know. Unity, unity. Look, moveon.org. Get your fucking heads out your asses. What is going on here, man? Total, total loss of respect for you guys. It's a shame. It's a shame. Russia? Russia? 2016 med Russia meddling? What the fuck are you doing? Didn't you don't you know who what happened? To, don't you don't you know anything about the history of the election? WikiLeaks, what they revealed in the emails that they were scamming the whole thing, all the money laundering, the exit polls not matching, right? The exit polls not matching, the actual result off some some places ten and fifteen percent, ballots getting thousands, hundreds of thousands of people getting purged off the rolls, California two million votes not counted, they closed the election before and people were still online voting. What the hell is wrong with you? That's the inst- that's the constitutional crisis. That is, you have you want a constitutional crisis? You have one. Go after it. You're gonna you want to you want to chase Trump around because he's gonna fire some jerk off that's that that has that is actually above the Constitution. The the idea of the special counsel is unconstitutional, right? That's what the Democrat. That's what the, the the Congress and the Senate is supposed to do, but they can't do it because they're all money grabbing. That's the constitutional crisis. You already have it. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, columnist, (laughs) and absolutely not a member of MoveOn.org. Peace out.